Okay, so this is it. You finally sign up for the gym and decide that it's time to start getting in shape. The thing is, you have no clue how to actually work out. Maybe you know bench pressing curls, but other than that, you wouldn't know how to lift a dumbbell if it smashed your face in. So you figure, well, I'll just go in and wing it. Yeah, no. You want to have a good understanding of how to actually work out before you go in there and start swinging weights around. Find a friend that can teach you. Or maybe do some reading on various exercises. It's important to understand what body part each exercise is working and how to execute it properly. Bad form or technique isn't going to help you and could potentially cause an injury. I worked out with my dad for a full year and he taught me everything I know. If you want the best results, then you have to make sure you're doing it right. Okay, so let's say you've read up on some exercises and you're ready to go. Firstly, if you're just starting out, and I can't stress this enough, don't lift a lot of weight. Otherwise, you'll be so sore the next day, you won't even be able to get out of bed in the morning. Give it a few weeks so your muscles can get used to it. Then you can start working on increasing the weight. Dudes, I know you want to impress that girl working on the bench next to you, but think with your head, not down in your pants. Lifting more weight than you can handle is just going to make you look like a bigger fool, and you could possibly injure yourself. You're there to work out, not score a one night stand. Although, who knows, maybe for some it's the opposite. But anyway, another thing I recognize is don't expect to look like this after about a month of working out. It takes time and dedication. Alright, let's talk about some different methods for weightlifting. First, we have weightlifting for strength. You don't have to be super big to increase your strength. However, you are going to want to lift heavy weight. Use a weight that you cannot lift for more than 8 reps, and then increase the weight when you are able to surpass 8. You won't be able to lift more reps because the weight is heavier, but your muscles will accommodate over time. Next we have lifting for tone and endurance. This method uses lighter weight with more reps. You're not focused on getting so big that your arms won't even touch your hips. Your focus is increasing your stamina and creating more muscle definition. Then you have the guys that just want to get big. If you want to get big, you have to eat more. And I'm not talking heading over to McDonald's and ordering a Big Mac. I'm talking good, high-calorie foods that will help your muscles grow. Like Professor Coyne said, you don't have to waste your money buying protein shakes and all that junk. Just maintaining a good, high-calorie diet will help you grow. Although, for some, this is much easier said than done. So basically, eat big to get big. That's assuming that you're working out a steady four to five times a week. Talking about getting big, a lot of women are afraid to lift weights because they think that it'll make them look too bulky. This isn't true at all. As a woman, you can build muscle, get stronger, and improve your physique, but you will never build as much muscle mass as men because you have lower testosterone levels. Women that look like this are using major steroids to pump testosterone in their bodies. And yeah, don't do that. I think it's also worth mentioning that while you're lifting, always drink water. It's very important to keep your muscles hydrated while you're exercising. I always shake my head when I see someone on a treadmill and they have a Coke sitting in the slot where there should be a water. Or worse, Diet Coke. Well, at least they made it to the treadmill. I guess replacing the Coke with water can come later. So what are the health benefits of weightlifting? It will increase your physical work capacity and also improve your ability to perform activities of daily living. You'll be able to work harder and longer. It improves bone density. One of the best ways you can control bone loss as you age is to add strength training to your workout plan. It promotes fat-free body mass. Lean muscle mass will decrease with age. Without weight training, it will just turn to fat. It increases the strength of connective tissue, muscles, and tendons. This leads to improved motor performance and decreased injury risk. It improves your quality of life. Not only will weight training make you stronger physically, but it will also make you stronger mentally. It can also be a major stress reliever. Hopefully you've learned something from this very brief overview of weightlifting. Like I said before, weightlifting takes time and dedication. Don't be one of those New Year resolutioners that signs up for the gym and then a month or less later they're back to thumb presses on the TV remote. Stick with it, and I guarantee you'll feel better both mentally and physically.